good morning so as you can see I've glued this on in what I hope is a bit of a better way though it does feel a little detachable but let's see if this works oh that's a tough one don't drink sodas today did you know that one can contains 10 sugar cubes <laughs> oh dear well in fairness if, if I was to drink soda I'd have to buy a bottle especially to do so so um yeah be interested to see if I can keep up with this one right okay <laughs> I'm gonna make my breakfast in a minute which uh, is going to be another breakfast sausage uh, butty um, the last time I breakfast actually, so I don't know if I'm going to go shopping and get some more or get some sandwich meat or what. I have got a lot of turkey meat left over from Christmas that went in the freezer. So there may well be some of those coming out as well for, for breakfast or dinners or the like. I have also realised that I didn't get any butties out yesterday. So dinner today will have to be from the canteen. Um, we'll see what's on, but I suspect I may well try and stick to the jacket potato rule that I had last year but we'll have a look at what's on first okay so I'm back home at the end of the day now you can see it's already dark outside um, it's what six half six in the evening my tea is currently cooking in the uh, it's the oven basically it's, it's actually a microwave but it does oven work as well for me which is great um, so um, actually I was going to go in there but it'd be noisy there's no point um, so breakfast was as planned uh, you've already seen the picture of that hopefully um, the picture is from yesterday to be honest with you but it's exactly the same stuff I had today so no difference a bit more light here <laughs> got to concentrate on that sort of thing of course um, dinner actually was some sort of breaded chicken there was a name for it which I can't remember now uh, it was chicken breast that was breaded and sautéed potatoes which were very nice and gravy and I bought a bottle of water so I stuck to the no soda rule um, I did forget to take my bottle with me it's it's actually in there filled up ready to go but so I bought an equivalent size bottle in works to use instead um, I didn't stick to the jacket potato rule like I said I was going to to be honest, this was nicer, and the other option was burgers. So I decided, yeah, we'll go with the breaded chicken and sauteed potatoes with gravy. My tea, I've got a chicken breast in the oven, as I say. Uh, and I'm putting some, uh, basically bachelor's super pasta, or whatever they call it, I can't remember now. Uh, chicken and mushroom stuff, out of a packet, That's that's gone in the pan to cook. Uh, and I've chucked a little bit of the turkey leftovers I've got in there as well. Um, I've had some turkey leftovers in the fridge for a few days because they were based on my butties. I've left the rest in the freezer. I'm not getting any more of that out. I have a butty out ready for tomorrow, so we're going to stick to that plan. But the last thing I need to mention, let's just fire up the laptop. Yesterday's steps uh, should have been on screen yesterday at 7,636. I say should have been, I've not edited it yet. We're at half six in the evening and I've not started editing, so it could be a late night doing that. It makes today's target 6,509 and I'm currently just over 4,000 steps today. So I will be going for a walk. I did say earlier I need to go get some more of those bratwurst sausages though. Uh, so a walk to and from Lidl will probably cover my steps uh, quite nicely. So that should be okay. We'll do that um, after I've eaten. It will also help me walk off my dinner as well. A tea. Northern tea. <laughs> um, yeah, so today I wouldn't say it's been the best possible day. I should have had the butties, but it's been a good day. And hopefully that's going to lead to a good week, which you'll find out from the weigh in on Sunday. So, yeah, I'll give you a further update after I've been shopping just to make sure I've done my steps and all that sort of thing. And I've stuck to the plan still. Um, drinks today have been stuck with the hot chocolate and Vimto combination because that's what I like. Um, there is a water machine, I should start using it. But it's the first day back in work and it was a frigging cold morning this morning. So I needed something to warm me up and then I just stuck with it. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep improving on that one as well. 
So here's what I've not done for a while, filming at my uh, desk. Um, so yeah, I've done the walk. I, you can probably tell with the fact that my eyes are not staying fully open. I'm uh, a bit tired after that walk. Um, it didn't help that I pretty much realised halfway through the walk that we're in the middle of a storm at the minute. Storm Eileen, I think was it they called it. It's the Irish Met Officer have named it, something to that effect. Um, and although I would say it was still walkable, the conditions weren't great out there. Um, but so yeah, I went to Lidl, I got me yeah, more breakfast sausages, so breakfast is sorted for a few more days. And I uh, got some uh, cheese to go with it because I do like a bit of cheese in my butties. But if, yeah, it's something again I might cut out in the future. Right now, it's baby steps. Um, I think we need to go slowly this time round. Um, those coats I wonderfully washed yesterday are hanging up to dry again, so um, hopefully they'll be fine for tomorrow morning for going to work, but I'll find out when I get up again. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to have to see how tomorrow morning goes. I was planning to go swimming tomorrow, but got to be honest, I'm a bit tired right now. It is currently half eleven at night, I've just finished it, editing uh, yesterday's video. And what I've done is I've quickly put an edit together of today's video, so it'll only take me a few minutes to add the few extra bits, like how many steps I did, um, which is just basically a bit of text that I'll put on. Uh, yeah, we'll do it there. <laughs> um, but what I can tell you is the steps at this moment in time are 7,940. I can't see it going much higher than that, because I'm literally going to uh, walk to my bedroom put my watch on the nightstand and go to bed. That's literally my uh, plan once I finish recording this. So yeah, that's where I am right now. Um, I'm just trying to keep my eyes open to talk to you anymore, so I think I'm going to cut it there for now. And uh, being perfectly honest, I don't think I'll end up swimming tomorrow morning. I think it might be postponed to Thursday. Um, just one other thing I'll quickly mention, because um, I've been looking forward onto my uh, step plan, I had noticed that a couple of days later this week had given a ridiculous number of steps. Uh, two days had given sort of 10,000 to 11,000 per day when I'm trying to average six and a half or six, seven fifty, whatever it is. Uh, sorry, six and a half in total for the month, but it's five, seven fifty this week. And then one, the, the Saturday was only showing 500 steps. So what I've done is I've made a slight change to the targets to say, right, every day must hit the minimum, which at the minute is set at 5,000. It's based in last week's, um, last week's, last month's average, minus 500. And then it works out the percentage above that that every day needs to hit. So, like today, I was... I don't know what I said this morning, I can't remember now, but uh, it's now 5,104 is my target, um, which obviously I've, I've smashed, absolutely smashed, and tomorrow I'll be able to save my target in the morning once I've entered the final figure for today. Um, yeah, if I put this in quickly, actually, when I say 7,940, on the right field it helps, 7,940. Yeah, it sets me to the minimum target, 5,000, because I'm already way up. So basically what I've done is put, I've put myself in a place where I'm already achieving more than I need to. So I just need to keep the minimum up, which shouldn't be difficult this week. Um, but obviously I'm going to keep pushing for probably six to 7,000 each day at this moment in time. Um, I know that's nothing like what I achieved earlier this uh, last year. This time last year I was doing 10,000 a day easily. But obviously, well, to put it in perspective, before I go to bed, I need to take this because of the way my chest went over the last couple of months. So, um, this is helping build my chest back up to the strength that it probably was at last year. And that's part of the reason why I'm down on my steps at the minute compared to last year. Anyway, I've turned this into a ramble when it was literally just a quick sign-off. So, let's move on to the sign-off and say thank you very much for watching again. 
And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, or comment, uh, or all three if you'd like. And I shall see you again on Wednesday.